Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie and today is Halloween. Last night Jen and I were the Grim Reapers, or the Grim Reapers together, uh, and I created just like a really intense black eye look and I ended up really, really liking it. I didn't have any time yesterday to film it, but I thought I might as well just recreate it for y'all right here and now, so let's get into it. I've already put my foundation on. I used the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation with a uh, Beauty Blender. I've been really loving that thing lately. So um, that's all finished, but now I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. I'm just gonna stick this all over my eyeballs. I could not find my pencil sharpener yesterday, so I straight up used a knife and I was like chipping away at it and I was so scared that I was gonna get like a shard of uh, of wood or something in my eyeball that would not have been good but pretty much I am just really knocking this out all over my eyeballs I really like this look too because yesterday I was really messy about it like I did not even care and then it ended up looking really cool so I feel like for these kind of eye looks too if I don't know. Like being the Grim Reaper is not like a very serious costume. If your makeup looks kind of like a little bit effed up, like it doesn't matter. Like you're having a good time. All right, black eyeliner done. Now I took my Tartlet palette and it has a really nice, uh, just matte black in there called Fashionista. So I'm just gonna pack that on top of the black eyeliner. I really enjoyed wearing this look last night. I feel like. It just, I, I don't know, I just like being a creep sometimes, you know? Sometimes you gotta be a creep, you gotta scare people. Uh, Jen and I took a really cool photo where both of her eyes kind of look like they're glowing because of the flash. She definitely went for a like more glam Grim Reaper look. We didn't even talk about it actually, I don't think, before we got together. She just came over and I was still doing my makeup and yeah, so we got, it was kind of cool. We had like two different versions of the same character. I definitely went for the weird one. Oh god. I just got a bunch of black. Oh no, I'm spreading it around. Oh crap. Ugh. I'll fix it later. Just uh, wait one moment. I never claimed to be a crazy makeup artist, y'all. I'm just a girl who likes makeup too, like most of you out there probably. So, you know, everybody makes mistakes. Right. So now I'm gonna go in with a little blending brush and I'm just going to blend around the edges a bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna take Bombshell, which is this kind of like dark purple color in this palette, and I'm just packing it all around the edges. We're gonna fade it out to like kind of like a black purpley color. Makes a cool effect. I actually did my makeup yesterday like kind of in the dark too because uh, a couple people came over to my house while I was getting ready and I didn't want to just be like holed up in my bathroom so I was sitting in front of like my mirror that I have out here and I was doing my makeup while hanging out. I love that. Okay, I'm just gonna start blending this out now. All right, now that we're at this point, I think I want to do a little bit more purple in there. So I'm going to pack a little bit more purple and then blend again. I want to put it on the inside here. All right, you know what? Now I am going to do like a bit of contouring or I don't even know if you would call this contouring. I'm going to put some like purple where you would normally put uh, a bit of contouring on my cheeks to give me a more of a sullen look. So, hmm, I feel I'm gonna go in just with my little angled uh, contour brush and I'm gonna go in with Bombshell again. It was really fun also being in a, like a couple's costume too. I'm not sure if I've ever done that before, but it was really fun like, you know, matching with somebody. There's these two guys that were um, Rick and Morty. That was a really good one. Oh shoot, I wish I could remember some of the other ones I saw. Dang, there were some really good ones. My dude and his best friend were uh, a surgeon and a naughty nurse. We didn't really plan it that way, but you know, if they failed at their job, then Jen and I would come in 
and take over as the Grim Reapers. I honestly, like, people who are real makeup artists who, like, do it as their job, or, like, especially people who work at, like, MAC, who are just constantly doing people's makeup every single day, like, I applaud you. I don't know how you do it. You're very, very talented, because I can hardly do makeup on myself, <laughs> obviously. No, I think this looks cool, whatever. I don't want to doubt myself because of, like, trolls that might be online. You really can't let that get to you. I think I honestly was letting that get to me a little bit. I never used to let that get to me, ever. I'm pretty, like, tough-skinned, I feel like. Um, but for some reason, the last couple of months, been like a little bit more affected by things for some reason and uh it, sh it shouldn't I'm like i feel like people who kind of are like not nice online like they don't know my life and i don't know their lives and they should just i don't know think think just think before you say something and if if you would feel hurt by the statement that you're making and if it really doesn't make a difference in the world, like, you could maybe keep it to yourself, you know? But, that's just me. That's how I feel. Alright. I think we are okay with the cheeks right now. This cheek, I think I have, like, a dry patch right here because it's kind of catching in a weird way. But, to be honest, when my hood is on, my hair's down. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Okay, cool, cool, cool. We are gonna put the brows on now. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. And I'm going to just kind of like elongate the brow here. I just follow my natural art and go like that. I just got a whole lighting set up, so I'll be able to film when it's darker out. I need to figure out how to use it. I got two umbrella lights and a ring light. So I want to start doing more talky videos and stuff or like Q&A's. A few of y'all wanted me to do some like advice videos, talky videos, so I really do want to get into that. And now that I have lighting, I honestly work so much better at nighttime, so I will be able to film at night. Because it doesn't really matter like I feel like for sit down videos, I obviously enjoy natural lighting the most, but I feel like for some sit down videos it's okay. I can use a light, although yeah, I just have to figure out how the hell to use it first. These are not the same. They are sisters and not twins right now. <laughs> They're never twins actually, but uh, we'll try and get them there. I have so much black eyeshadow on my nose right now. I think I'm just gonna grab a tissue really quick and try and like wipe away some of the black that's all over my face. Be right back. Okay. I am going in with a Kleenex. Okay, now I really understand why when you do a dark eye look, you do your foundation afterwards. Jeez Louise. How did it get like in my nostrils? Okay, what up? My hand's clean. There's no black on my fingers. <laughs> this is like very real right now. This is like y'all seeing my actual makeup like progression, like what happens in my mind when I like mess up doing makeup or like when I'm trying to do a new thing. So my, my thought process out loud right now. Honestly, I feel like a lot of us have no idea what we're doing. You're just winging it. I love it. Okay. All good. 
So now what I'm gonna do, finishing up the um, eyeshadow look actually, now that I've done my brows, I'm gonna take some of the Hourglass uh, Ambient Light palette. <laughs> I'm gonna take uh, incandescent light, which is the middle one. It's like the most silvery color, and I'm gonna place that underneath my eyebrows. And I'm also gonna give myself a little bit of a highlight as well. Okay, so right now I'm just taking this little real techniques brush and I'm just gonna place it. I'm just laughing to myself, thinking about how many people are gonna be like, "What the f is she doing right now?" I'm doing me. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this little brush right here and just stick it on the upper cheekbone and there we go. Ooh! Oh! Now I am going to just put some mascara on. Alright, mascara is done. I'm gonna put a little bit more black in my waterline and tight line. I feel like I lost it a little bit. So I guess like I could just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use this on my lips right now. Alright. Do you see that it's come together now? Do you see it? Maybe a little bit? Make sure I do that. Um I'm gonna go put my hood on. And then you will see just like the complete look. One sec. All right, cape is on. Let's put the hood on. See how that looks. I have my Reaper here. This was kind of annoying to carry around all night, and I kept bumping people with it. But it's okay. It's just part of the the costume. It's an important part. My link costume is gonna be really annoying tonight because I have two pieces. But anyways, I think once the hood is on, you get to really see. You know, the completed look and the eye look makes sense. I actually really, really like it. I kind of want to wear it again tonight. I hope you all are having just a wonderful Halloween week, or if you don't celebrate Halloween, just a wonderful end of October. Uh, I love y'all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.